Hi dear friends, how are you all? Welcome to our YouTube channel HR Tutorials India. In this video, we will be discussing how to register DSC in EPF portal. First, before understanding how to register DSC in EPF portal, let us understand what exactly DSC means. What is DSC? Digital Signature Certificates DSC are the digital equivalent that is electronic format of physical or paper certificates. A digital signature certificate is a secure digital key that is issued by the certifying authorities for the purpose of validating and certifying the identity of the person holding this certificate. Digital signatures make use of the public key encryptions to create these signatures. DSC stands for Digital Signature Certificate. It is a digital equivalent of a physical or a paper certificate. In simple words, what we can say is DSC is a digital signature in place of a signature on a paper or a physical signature. Digital signature certificate is a secured digital key issued by certifying authorities for the purpose of certifying and validating the identity of the person holding this certificate. With the help of DSC, digital signatures can be created. A digital signature certificate contains information about the user's name, PIN code, country, email address, date of issuance of certificate and name of certifying authority. A digital certificate can be presented electronically to prove one's identity to access information or services on the internet or to sign certain documents digitally. The digital signature certificate contains the complete information of the user's name, country, PIN code, email address and also the date of issue of the certificate and finally the name of the certifying authority who has issued the certificate to the concerned person. A digital certificate can be presented electronically to prove one's identity to access the information and the services on the internet and also to sign documents digitally. Benefits of DSC Let us now understand what are the benefits of DSC. Physical documents are signed manually. Similarly, electronic documents e-forms are required to be signed digitally using digital signature certificate. Digital signature certificates are helpful in authenticating the personal information details of the individual holder when conducting business online. As physical documents are signed manually, digital documents are signed digitally. So for signing the digital documents digitally, digital certificate is the mode of signing the electronic document, which helps in identifying the personal information and details of the individual holder conducting business online. Reduce cost and time. Instead of signing hard copy document physically and scanning them and sending via email, you can digitally sign the PDF files and send them much more quickly. The digital signature certificate holder does not have to be physically present to conduct or authorize a business. One of the benefit of DSC is that instead of signing the hard copies physically and scanning then sending through mails, it is easy for the person to sign the documents digitally with digital signature certificate and it is very quick and fast. And the most advantage of digital signature certificate is that the certificate holder physical presence is not required whereas digital signature can be done from anywhere. Data integrity. Documents that are digitally signed cannot be altered or edited after signing, which makes the data safe and secure. The government agencies often ask for the certificates to cross-check and verify business transaction. The second benefit is data integrity. Unlike physical signatures, digital signatures cannot be altered or edited after signing with the digital signature, which makes the data safe and secure. Even the government agencies often ask for the certificates to cross-check and verify business transaction. Authenticity of documents. Digitally signed documents give confidence to the receiver to be assured of signature's authenticity. They can take action on the basis of such documents without getting worried about documents being forged. The final third benefit of DSC is that authenticity of document. The documents which are digitally signed gives confidence to the receiver to be assured of the signature's authenticity. They can take the action again on the basis of such documents without getting worried about the documents being forged. How to register DSA in EPF portal? Before getting registered DSC in EPF portal, employer should have a DSC, digital signature certificate, ready for registering on EPF portal. Which means, before getting registered on EPF portal, the employer or the company or the individual person should have a digital signature certificate. Without digital signature certificate or the DSC, it is not possible to get registered DSC on EPF portal. 
Employer can obtain digital signature certificate class 2 or above from any valid licensed certifying authority approved by controller of certifying authorities in order to registration of digital signature. The digital signature certificate has to register by employer unified portal launched by EPFO to start harvesting the benefits of the system. So, for having a digital signature certificate, the DSC, the employer can obtain this certificate from any valid license certifying authority approved by controller of certifying authorities for the generation of digital signature. And this digital signature certificate has to be registered in EPF that is in employer unified portal launched by EPFO to start harvesting the benefits of the system. To attach and forward the claims online, the employees are required to register DSC with EPFO and also many important tasks like KYC, transfer claim, attestation etc. are being done online by authorized persons of the employers using this digital signature certificate or other based e-signs on EPFO portal. However, they required a one-time approval from regional officers for this. The digital signature certificate in EPFO portal has many benefits. After getting registered, the DSC on EPFO, important tasks like KYC approval, transfer claim approval, attestation can be done online by the authorized persons of the employers by using this digital signature certificate or through other based e-signs on EPFO portal. But then for doing all these things, a one-time approval from regional offices of EPFO is mandatory. Step by step process to register DSC in EPFO portal. Employee needs to connect the DSC token to laptop or desk and follow the below steps to successfully register your digital signature certificate in EPFO portal. Firstly, we need to open EPFO portal that is unified-emp.epfindia.goe.in and in the establishment login, enter EPF username and password and click on sign in button. After logging into the portal, select the establishment tab then click the drop down and select the option DSC or eSign. You can use this every time to add or register a new DSC or eSign to the EPF so that they can make use of all the EPF services. A new page will open with the name Digital Signature Registration. Now fill the details, name of the authorized signatory, designation, mobile number and type of registration. So here there are two types of registration that is sign with .pfx file and sign with USB token. As now we are doing with USB, we need to select USB token. As we are already connected with DSC token, select the option as USB token and then click on submit button for DSC registration. Java link. In this page, a dialog box will show an activate Java. Click on it and tap on allow and remember. The processing will start and may take some time. A pop-up will show whether it will ask if Java needs to be activated or not. Type PIN. Click on the Run tab. The next window will ask you to register to your particular DSC. Once you click Register DSC, type in the PIN received. Register. After successful registering it, it will show a dialog box confirming you about the same. View Registered Signature. Now go back to the Establishment tab and then tap Digital Signature again. A bar will show View Registered Signature. Download PDF. Tapping it will open your registered details. Then click on Request Letter and download the PDF file. Sign the document. Sign the given document and send it to the Regional EPF Office. Final step. Now you are set and if all documents provided are verified successfully, your digital signature will get approved. Now, authorized signature DSC can use the e-sign for various tasks like KYC attestation, transfer claim and approval etc. So dear friends, we have seen the step by step process to register DSC in EPF portal theoretically. Let us now see practically how to do and how to get registered DSC in EPF portal. With the help of username and password, we need to log into EPF employer portal. After entering into the EPF employer portal, we need to click on the establishment tab and then click on DSC eSign. After clicking that, the digital signature registration will open, wherein we need to enter the name of the authorized signatory. Then we need to enter the designation of the authorized signatory. Here it is director. Then finally we need to enter the mobile number of the authorized signatory. After entering the mobile number, we need to select sign with USB token. Then click on submit button. After clicking on the submit button, the process 
get started then it will ask for run application wherein we need to click on run button after clicking the process get started and the digital signature will pop out where we have connected our digital signature usb token then we need to select the signature then click on register dsc after that a pin pop up will open where we need to enter the pin which is given along with the digital signature then click on login after logging in the certificate registered successfully a message will be popped out then we need to click on ok then certificate registered successfully then we need to close it it will take you to the same page and at the bottom it is mentioned that click here to register e sign so we need to click on click here where it will popped out to the page where all the digital signature letters are viewing so we need to click on the letter where it will pop out the document which has to be signed and sent to the epf office it will show the details of the digital signature wherein we need to enter the three space pen signature along with the signature of the employer and seal of the company and this document need to be sent to the epf registration office for approval just now we have seen how to upload the document for the registration of dsc in the epf portal through offline that is by submitting the document at the epfo office now let us see how to submit the document online for that we need to go to establishment tab then click on dsc e sign after that drag down and click on click here to register e sign then it will be directed to the page where the dsc need to be uploaded as we have already put the dsc and made the dsc active on epf portal here it will be popped out with the name details and everything and it will be asking for a request letter as we have seen the request letter with all the specific signature we need to upload over here once the document is uploaded it will show as successfully submitted once the successfully submission is done it will take some time for the epf officer to review the document and approve it once it is approved it will show the signature status as active here as we can see inactive or deactive of the previous signature which has been expired in the same way here we can see the signature status as activated once the digital signature status is activated we can use the digital signature for the services on the epf portal so dear friends we have seen both theoretical as well as practical process of registering dsc on epf portal so dear friends hope you understood the process of registration of dsc on epf portal if you have any questions or queries related to this video please do comment in the comment section i'll be happy enough to answer all your queries and if you like this video please do subscribe and share among your friends thank you very much for watching this video have a nice day